Uh, welcome. In this lesson, we will discuss the uh, uh, chemical properties of uh, alkanols. Now, the last chemical property is uh, esterification. Esterification, now, this is the chemical process in which uh, an alkanol is uh, reacted with uh, an alkanoic acid in the presence of uh, concentrated sulfuric 6 acid and uh, warming. So, esterification now, reagent used is uh, any alkanoic acid such as uh, ethanoic acid propanoic acid, and uh, so on. Then the other reagent is uh, any alkanol, uh, example, ethanol, propanol, and uh, so on. Condition required, one, concentrated sulfuric 6 acid that will act as a catalyst, two, warming, product, ester, the chemical name of ester is uh, alkyl alkanoate. Observation made during this reaction is uh, a pleasant smell. A pleasant smell is observed. So how does this reaction occur? So you have an alkanol. You have an alkanol. The general formula of an alkanol is uh, a Cn uh, H2n plus 1 OH uh, reacts with an alkanoic acid. That is uh, a Cn uh, H2n plus 1 COO uh, H there. This reaction now the condition required one is a uh, concentrated sulfuric 6 acid that will act as a catalyst and then the other one now is uh, warming warming is required here so this are now will lead to a uh, formation of an alkyl alkanoate so how do you write alkyl alkanoate now when you are writing the symbol you begin with the alkanoic part you begin with the alkanoic part so what will happen is that this reaction now first it will liberate a uh, water molecule how is the water molecule formed? So what will happen is that this OH, this OH will uh, react with the hydrogen from the alkanoic part. So the OH from the alkanol will react with the hydrogen from the alkanoic part. That will give you now water molecule. So what will remain here? So here what remains is that uh, is Cn uh, H2N plus 1 COO, right? And then from this part, what remains is that CnH2n plus 1 will remain there. So here, you will have CnH2n plus 1 will remain there. So this is now the general formula for ester. That is CnH2n plus 1, COO, uh, CnH2n plus 1. Note that uh, we have the chemical name we said is alkyl alkanoate. Alkanoate. So this part, alkyl uh, represents the alkanol part. It represents the alkanol part. While this part, the alkanoate part, it represents the alkanoic part. It represents the alkanoic uh, part. So illustration for ester is uh, R C O O R. Whereby this R represents the alkanol part. While this R C O O uh, represents the alkanoic part. Now an example of a reaction if you have uh, ethanol that is a uh, a C2 a H5 OH aqueous there uh, reacts with the ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid, the formula is F means 2, so you less 1 because there is one carbon that's waiting in the general equation. So the number of carbon atom now becomes 1. So hydrogen now becomes the value of N is 1. So, so hydrogen now becomes 2 times 1, that is 2, plus 1, that is 3. So it will be CH3COOH uh, there. So this aqueous. So this reaction now, it requires uh, a condition of uh, sulfuric 6 acid, which acts as a catalyst. And then here you require warming. So there you require warming. So what will happen is that I say that this reaction now will lead to formation of water. So how? This OH this OH will react with the OH from the alkanol will react with the hydrogen from the alkanoic part and that now will give you water molecule so this reaction now uh, will give you a water molecule that is a H2O now from now the chemical symbol of uh, that ester then you begin with this alkanoid part you begin with the alkanoid part so it will be a CH3 COO and then you join to the alkyl part, which is now uh, C2 
uh, H5 there. And this now becomes aqueous. So this is now an ester. If you want to name this ester now, chemically, you begin the name from the back. So this is now ethyl. This is ethyl. And this is ethanoate. So the chemical name will be, the chemical name will be ethyl ethanoate. So if you want to draw that structure, so here you will draw this part. So how many carbon atoms will you draw here? You will draw uh, two carbon atoms there. You will draw two carbon atoms. So here you have a bone, a bone here, a bone here, a bone here. You see this carbon is called carbonyl. It is a carbon that is a double bonded to oxygen. So here you have a double bonded oxygen. And then here you have the remaining oxygen here. So this oxygen now is bonded to carbon. And the other carbon now is bonded to another carbon. So here now you have a bond here, a bond here, a bond here. So here now you distribute the number of hydrogen. So here hydrogen, hydrogen here, hydrogen here. That is now CH3. And then here now is COO. Then C2. How many hydrogens? Five hydrogens here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So if you want to name, I said you name it from backward. That is, it will be a dial ethanoate. So let us uh, try to name the this ester. You can see this is an ester. So try to name it following the guideline that you have given. And then you also try to name this ester also. Try to name uh, this ester. And then you leave it in a comment section uh, below. You should know the similarity between uh, esterification and uh, neutralization. Both of them, they give us a uh, water molecule. As you can see, both of them uh, liberate water molecule as a byproduct. Both of them involve uh, a combination of uh, hydrogen ions and uh, OH ions. But the difference is esterification uh, produces ester and water from acid and uh, alcohol, while neutralization uh, produces uh, salt and water from acid and uh, base. Esterification requires uh, a catalyst, which is a uh, concentrated sulfuric 6 acid, while neutrali neutralization does not require an acid. Now, application of esterification, where do you apply it? So it's applied in uh, production of uh, perfumes, essential oils, in uh, food uh, flavorings, uh, as well as uh, in uh, cosmetics. Test for alkanols. How do we test uh, alkanols uh, chemically? You can test by use of uh, oxidizing agents such as uh, acidified potassium chromate 6. If it turns from orange to green, then you should know that you are ROH uh, present, that is an alkanol present. Finally, you have use of alkanols. One is used as a solvent in the preparation of uh, drugs. It's used as uh, fuels when blended with uh, gasoline that forms a uh, gas hole. It's also used in manufacture of uh, synthetic uh, fibers such as uh, PVC and polyethylene. It's used as antiseptic under specified uh, con concentrations. Finally, ethanol is used as an alcoholic drink in low concentrations. So that's the end of our lesson. In the next, uh, we'll discuss uh, alkanoic acids. Uh, thank you.